Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video to Ocean Survival Episode 6. Yeah, it's Episode 6 now. It is already Episode 6, and I actually can't believe it. Wow, I didn't think it's been going on this long. I really haven't. So, um, yeah, this is going to be... I'm, I'm sort of changing the way that I'm going to make the videos for this series. Now, usually I make around an hour of recording time. I take about an hour of recording time and edit that down to like half an hour. And I'm kind of realizing that's not enough time to make a Minecraft video and actually get done what I want to get done. So I'm going to start doing multiple recording sessions of around like probably like an hour a piece and putting those together just to try to get like a higher quality video, just to try to like get more done. Because I've realized like there's so much like to do in this mod pack and I've done I've done like nothing I've done like absolutely nothing so far I mean like I've done a little bit yeah it has been fun but I want to I want to start locking in and actually like making some cool stuff exploring some cool islands and seeing what I can find that is a lot of fish jeez yeah get ready for one longer longer videos and two more effort being put into them now, that does come at one little tiny caveat, being that these will be probably released less frequently than, um, than I'm releasing them now, because obviously a longer video takes more time to record and then more time to edit, so maybe only like one or two of these a week are going to come out for now, but they're going to be a lot higher quality, and there's going to be like a lot more stuff getting done in them. Uh, it looks like these potatoes are actually ready to harvest, so let's do that. I'm just going to get rid of these so I can actually, like, jump up and down from here. Alright, does this... I think this knife gives you more, like, crops or something. I could be wrong. Like, I know it gives you, uh, straw when you harvest, like, grass. So maybe it gives you more, um, crops. Do I have fortune or anything? I don't think I do. You know, I don't have, if I had something with fortune, that would be nice. I think that also lowers your chance to get a poisonous potato, but I could be wrong. Maybe it just increases the amount of potatoes you get overall. That could be it. So yeah, I haven't really came up with a plan for what we're going to do for this episode. But I definitely want to start, like, putting some work into the island. Expanding the farm. Making... Some more, like, uh, maybe terrain adjustments? And I definitely want to build something. I think I want to build, like, a bigger house. And maybe we could do... Oh, we could do, like, a windmill? That would be pretty cool. If we had, like, a windmill, like, right there. Or maybe over there. That would be neat. Potato delivery. Wow, that is a lot. That is ridiculous. I wonder how many of these are it's going to take to, um... Replant. Probably a lot. I don't think I need, um, any of these sour cream and onion potatoes I'm getting. I wonder if Farmer's Delight actually, like, adds a use for them. Wait, they give... Wait, that's so dumb. They give more hunger than a normal potato. <laughs> Why? Why Why would that be a feature? That's, that's really dumb. Maybe the, maybe the poisonous potato is useless, useful after all. Maybe it isn't useless. Jeez, it is going to take a hot minute to replant all these. And I think I'm going to get, like, a net loss for potatoes, because I still have... I'm not even, like, halfway to filling this entire farm. It might have been a little bit overkill, but, like, I, I have a vision for it. I'm probably going to clear out more of this mountain and then, like, put some sort of... Ooh, or we could dig into the wall. That would be cool. And then I think I'm going to definitely replace... Some of this farmland with, like, path. Like, we could do some, like, path blocks. I think that would be pretty cool. I have ideas. Just, um... <laughs> just have to execute them. That's what it's a matter of. Execution. Just had... A very big meal, so it's, like, hard to breathe. I had, like, three burger sliders. And then... Some potatoes. Usually don't, like, eat that big of a meal for dinner. Even though, like, I should be. I should be eating, like, a lot more food than I do. I've been, like, skipping breakfast. 
skipping lunch sometimes. The other day, I'm not even joking, for the first, like, I'd say 12 hours of the day, all I had was a breakfast sandwich and a granola bar and some Cheez-Its. Like, I just didn't, I didn't need anything for some reason. I just didn't feel like it. Really weird. Like, I don't know why I do that. Like, such, like, an odd thing, because, like, I usually eat, like, a ton of food. Like, I like eating, and I work out, and I need, I need the food. I've just kind of been, like, I guess a little stressed out lately, so that makes me, like, less inclined to eat. I also, like, can't tell if I'm hungry or not. It's, like, such a weird thing. Like, I don't know if other people feel like that, but, like, sometimes I just can't tell if I'm actually hungry. We're gonna... I'm gonna remove these ones, actually, because... I want to fence this off. It's kind of dangerous at the moment. This is a lot of potatoes. It's a lot of potatoes. Yeah, my apologies if it seems like I'm, like, out of it or, like, I don't have, like, the same energy I usually do. I'm just kind of, like, tired at the moment. Kind of weird. Usually, like, I have more energy. And I got a lot of sleep last night, too. I, I went to bed. I did go to bed pretty late, though. I went to bed at like 12.30, but I woke up at like 10. It was like a horrible idea. I should have woke up earlier, especially with having work today. Just kind of like, it's not even like about like the rest at that point. It's just like the amount of wasted time. I don't, I don't like wasting my time, but I seem to do it very often. I don't like doing a lot of things that I happen to do very often. You get a freaking hoe to retell some of this ground over here. Speaking of uh, that topic, not that like I, I think girls are always... Um, that's a horrible segue. That is like a wild segue. Alright, trampling all the ground. Oh, this guy dropped a carrot. I don't even think I had that before. Okay. Jeez. Um, yeah, speaking of said topic. Um... I got, I got Tinder. <laughs> and it was... One of the most, like, stupid experiences ever. It is like, like, don't, don't get the app. Like, I see, like, the draw of, like, dating apps, but it was not worth it at all. Like, there is, like, no, there's hardly any actual real per people on there. I talked to, like, one person, because I only got, like, the one match. Most of, like, the girls on there, like, dress, like, very provocatively and, like just like art <laughs> they don't look to be good people and i know like there's like you shouldn't judge people by like how they look or anything but like bro like <laughs> there's a certain amount of judging you can do just by how somebody looks but I, I think like the whole don't judge a book by its cover thing is kind of stupid sometimes because there are people who actually look the part of like having a problem and now we're just supposed to say, like, oh, don't judge a book by a cover. Like, if somebody's fat, you can tell they have an eating problem. I know that's, like, kind of, like, a rude thing to say, but, like, 99.9% .9 of the time, if somebody's fat, they have an eating problem. Or at least some underlying thing. Like, it could be some, it could be some underlying thing that they haven't taken care of. And, yeah, like, sure, there's, like, I think there's, like, a disease that makes you, like, gain more weight. Yeah, sure, but, like... For the most part, like, judging a book by its cover is actually, like, kind of a safe thing to do. I know that sounds kind of, like, rude, but, like... I don't know, it's like a, like a survival adaptation. Like, you, you look at people and you see, like, what their appearance is like, and you can kind of tell by that, like, what they do with themselves. Like, how they dress, and also, like, how they talk and how they act. Unfortunately, like, on these dating apps, like I was saying, like, you don't get a lot of input there like it's just kind of like a few pictures and like a rudimentary bio most of the girls don't even put down an actual bio they just kind of like exist on there with like three or four photos and it's like how are you supposed to tell like anything about this person why would i want to date you if i don't know anything about you right i think i just think dating apps are kind of silly and like i'm not like i don't like the idea of dating I think it's really cringe, just like, not really cringe, but like, I don't like the idea of sitting across from a stranger that I don't know for the first time 
at, like, some, like, dinner table or something, or, like, taking somebody, like, golfing or whatever. Like, I don't know anything about this person. I just feel like it's so awkward, that's all. I don't know, I've always been, like, a very, like, shy, kind of introverted person. I actually talk to the people more on YouTube about my life problems than I do to people in real life. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a personal diary sometimes. You know, I like doing goofy stuff on here too. Like I like to be unserious sometimes because I, I do kind of hate how a lot of people nowadays are so self-serious. They just like take everything like so seriously. It's like, dude, just relax. Like have a laugh. Like, like just laugh. Like just like do something stupid. Don't like embarrass yourself, but do something stupid. Like I like doing stupid stuff. Just happens to be like when I'm playing this game. It's more like a relaxing experience, so I like to talk about more like like deeper stuff. I think that's I think that's good to like have a balance between the two. Some people are just so self-serious all the time, it's just like to the point where they're just kinda like grumpy almost. I don't think I don't think that's like anything to live. Just be like grumpy all the time and I feel like the, the people who are actually like that are usually like older people. And they're they're more mature, so I, I don't know. I, I guess maybe I'm just a little immature. For saying that people should like be silly more and like stop taking everything so seriously. Because you only have like one life to live. Imagine like getting written on your tombstone or something that like oh he was a grump. Like <laughs> That, that obviously wouldn't happen, but like, imagine that getting written on your tombstone. You're like a grumpy person on your tombstone is right, like... Oh, he... He, he was a... He was a really mean guy. Glad to be rid of him. I don't know, I just, I don't want to waste my life being like... So like, grumpy and... Mad at everything. I guess like, when I talk about that, I kind of imagine like... Like some like, angry old boomer. Was nothing better to do than like, like, be mad about like TikTok kids and Gen Z. Here's our shovel. I probably should have saved that for like a chance or something, but it's probably fine. I think the two durability is really that useful at the moment. But yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just kind of like imagining like a boomer who's just like dumb with life, getting angry at everything. I don't really know where I'm going with this whole chat here. I'm telling you guys to be goofy. Go like, tell a joke or something. And it's not even just like about like, having fun or being funny all the time. It's just like, cause don't take everything so seriously. Cause I don't think I don't think most of the things that people take so seriously are as serious as they are. Like like I never ex I never understood the people who like want to have nice clothes and fancy houses just to impress other people. Like that is. I've never understood that. I thought it was the silliest thing then, even like as a kid, and I still think it's the silliest thing now. And like normal people, like people who don't really like, I don't know, like think that way, still do it. They're like, oh, I need to get more money. It's like, yeah, but like, why? Like, if, like if you have enough money to support yourself, then yeah, sure, like cool. But if you're getting more money just because like you want to buy like. Like, stuff you don't need, I feel like that's like a really bad reason to get more money. It's just like, what are you gonna do, work all the time and then be like, grumpy? What's the point of having the money, right? What's the point in getting the dough if you ain't gonna bake it? Because you're getting dough constantly. <laughs> oh, that was a horrible joke. That didn't even, that didn't even like, make sense. Hmm, maybe I should dig this part out more? Or I could, like, heighten these fences, like, an extra block or something. I don't know what I'll do. I do like, um, one of the things I did in my other survival world, where I would take, the, like, the corners of the fences, go up, like, three blocks, and then put a line of extra fences, like a two-block gap, um, above these ones, around it. It's kind of like a little peer-through thing. I think that looked kind of cool. Am I already- I'm already out of fences, jeez. That sucks. I'm gonna be auto- I'm not even gonna be able to finish this. I mean, I got most of it. I only have to come around, like, here. I'll probably clear this out, actually. Alrighty. Area has been cleared. 
Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with any of these places yet. Like, I could... I'd have some sort of build here. Probably another... This will probably be where the other animal pens go. Because that's, like, that's gonna be something that's gonna be decently difficult to manage. Because, like, animals are so rare. So I definitely, like, I think it'd be cool to have, like... Di like, different islands will do different things. So I think this one is gonna be, like, the... The farming island and, like, the animal island. And then maybe we could have, like, an island that's a lumber island where we get all of our wood, right? Just have everything, like, organized onto different islands. Because it's really, like, it's almost kind of like Skyblock, but there's just, like, water, too. And I find it funny that it's, like, it's an ocean survival series and we're spending more time on the islands. I mean, I can't be underwater all the time. And I kind of I kind of want to do an ocean monument. We could, we could do that. Uh, this episode. I think I have one of my maps somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Yeah, this is... So, why you have, we have Young's Better Ocean Monuments? These things are huge. I, um... I did a fly-through on a world... This world before I created it. I found one. And... Like, before I actually, like, set it up as a server. I wasn't, I wasn't cheating. And I found one of these. And I couldn't even, like go through the whole thing in spectator mode within like a reasonable amount of time because they're just that huge like the ocean young's better anything is they always make the structures bigger better the best some of the best structure mods you can get are any any young's mods and they have like young, young's better mine shafts young's better um freaking uh, any vanilla structure he has an improved version i should have installed the other ones i just kind of assumed that like you know you wouldn't really be seeing any land-based stuff that often so i was like okay well then i'll just i'll just do the better ocean monuments i should have done like the mine shafts because there's actually a lot of those um even like under the oceans yeah so i kind of like the idea of definitely clearing like at least two blocks in front of this out and then making like a, a hobbit hole type thing like we could like clear this out and then maybe terraform the mountain down a bit like just like a few blocks N nothing crazy make it look somewhat natural have a, a sort of like hobbit hole I, I love doing these hobbit holes i have a whole hobbit village on uh, my my personal world that i'm making which i definitely i, I kind of forgot i was doing uh server tour videos a while ago i I, like, forgot about that whole thing. I was doing, like, a monthly server tour. There just hasn't been as much going on on the server lately. Like, enough to actually do, like, a whole, like, 20, 30 minute, like, put together server tour. Uh, the server's been around for almost a year now. So, we'll probably... I'll probably do another one pretty soon. Not almost a year. It's been, like, eight months. That's still, like, another, like, four months until it's, like, a, a legitimate year. Um, I guess I'll let this spread with some grass and then see how that looks and then i'll definitely come back to this later i want to focus on dude i'm like trampling all the crops i want to focus on getting this fence up and then uh, figure out figure out how i'm gonna like do this i need to make some like staircases i think that's what i need to do because i can't really like terraform the land perfectly i think i'm just better off making like some sort of staircase like a clear place to go up it, right? Like, let's just make this here like a cliff drop off. Like that. And then we could do a staircase like right here. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I like that. We can uh, dig these out, place them with some uh, good old dirt blocks. And then path it out. <laughs> That's when a world really starts to come together, in my opinion. When you start actually, like, connecting everything, that's, like, one of the most fun parts about it. I like making little villages and connecting them together. Unfortunately, that's gonna be, like, a little bit more rudimentary on this world. Because, you know, you don't have, like, land to go through. I guess, like, I could make a ship path, but what would that even consist of, right? Like, what would I make for a ship path? Like, that's, like, an interesting thought. Like, I could make, like, some, some like, landmarks in the wa water that you would, like, pass by. We could, oh, I think there's, like, buoys or something, actually. I think you can make, like, floaters. 
or something like you know like the things in the middle of the ocean where they like they float on the surface of the water and they have like a little blinky light on them sometimes and they're like they're like little landmarks for ships or they like close off areas kind of like a traffic cone we could do some of those that would be interesting um i need oh yeah perfect or what all right we got like stacking 13 left it we should have enough I just realized I used all my logs. That's probably that probably was not a great, great choice. Yeah. All right. That's mostly all my wood. Jeez, fences are expensive. Now I think yeah, I'm just gonna go around this, just around the farm. I was gonna bring it out around here, but we. We'll, I'll, I think I'll do a separate fence for that. Actually, yeah, we'll do two. Um, I gotta get rid of this. Let's make another infinite water source. So the, the so I figured out like I don't like having to jump down there to actually get the water right like each time I need water I want an infinite water source I figured out that most of the islands uh freaking oh I'm having a brain fart they have presets all right yeah they have presets <laughs> that's what it was the islands have different presets now most of the islands in this preset are medium sized ones and the medium sized islands go up like really tall like 40 or 50 blocks and they have different presets where they can like be like small islands extra large islands you can make them spawn more frequently now we can't do that to this world now and i think i think that would have been nice to know in hindsight it's like something that you change with the um the actual world settings before you create the world I think you have to do it before you create the world. I mean, I'm, I'm sure if, like, I didn't generate some chunks and then, like, went back into that and, like, changed the settings, it would probably work, but I don't I don't want to risk breaking the world. I, I, I guess I kind of like the medium islands, you know, like, having them, like, be sort of difficult to get up to. It's a little more rewarding. But it would have been, been nice to know. There, like, being another way to generate the islands. You know, have some more, like, smaller ones. Because I, I think I've only seen, like, a few, like, really tiny islands that you could actually get onto. Like, I think these ones... Uh, these ones might be, like, actually walkable. Like, from, like, literally being from the shore and just, like, you're you're on, like, the flattest part of the island right away. Like, you have to go up, like, 50 blocks to get on this part of the flat part of the island. It's kind of annoying, but... I don't know, makes an interesting challenge. This is odd right here. Why did I shape it like this? It's getting my OCD going wild. Boop, boop. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, I need a drink. I'm just too lazy to get one. But, like, my throat's burning from talking, so, like, I really should get a drink. It's, like, one of the things that doesn't make me want to record sometimes is, like, my freaking throat. I'm not used to talking this much. Like, I'm usually, like, a very reserved person. So, like, I'm usually... Is that a zombie? Better not be a creeper or something. I could hear him. <laughs> I had my hand on my water bottle. No, you can't... I swear, if he was about to jump over that fence, it would defeat the entire purpose of putting it up in the first place. You can't just defy the laws of physics just because you feel like it. That's not how that works. And then, meanwhile, this game having, like, freaking flying dragon and an undead mob that you summon with three heads of more dead things. Yeah, it makes, it makes perfect sense. This game is always completely logical with no fallacies whatsoever. My favorite perfectly logical Minecraft things is being able to fall from the height of like a million kilometers and save yourself with one pixel of water. Like, what, like, that's like me jumping off of a building. Not that I do that. <laughs> and then, like, landing in a bathtub, and then it just because there's like a little bit of water at the bottom of the tub. Like, it's not even full. There's just like a little bit of water at the bottom of it that I survive. Like, that's actually the Minecraft logic. Now, I've been thinking lately. Thinking I need to turn that down first. Jeez. It's loud. I've been thinking lately. It's still loud. I want to, like, sort of start branding my channel a bit. I did, now, I did start a Patreon. There there will be a link in the description here. I kind of forgot I did that, actually. I did it last night. And there's there's no perks for it yet, so it's, like, a completely... Just, like, if you want to 
support me. It's like one of the lowest amounts of money you could put for. It's like five bucks a month. Do not feel pressured to do so. It's just if you want to support me. Don't know how this guy got in here. How did you get into my farm? I'm speaking. Yeah, um, it's just if you want to support me, feel free to, but, like, don't, don't feel pressured to actually throw your money into the channel. It's just for those who, like, you know, want to support me besides just YouTube. But like, like I was saying, I'm, like, starting to, like, want to actually brand the channel and make, like, not make myself a brand, but, like, make it feel like there's, like, some personality behind it. Make, make it feel a little bit, like professional but like you know i'm actually putting effort like i want to i want to put more effort into it is what i'm saying and one of the things i want to do is find an artist who can draw me a banner and a profile picture because at the moment it's a dude in a pops costume and i thought like oh how funny it would be how did you make that jump that's not possible what where is he jumping from? Oh, that is so odd. But yeah, how funny it would be, would it be, if my profile picture was me in the Pops costume with the Pops head on and, like, half taking it off? Like, does he, you see, like, some of my face or something? Or, like, you know, like, something along the lines of me wearing the Pops costume. I think that would be hilarious. And then the banner, I, I don't really know what I want to do for the banner besides, like, maybe just put a bunch of the games I play in it or like in some way shape or form i think that would be cool what isn't cool is these mobs figuring out how to jump over my fence like he just did there like they're getting like some sort of knocked back and then jumping and it's just the zombie like the skeletons obeying the laws of fences like fences are a minecraft law you, ha you have to obey the law <laughs> I'm the, I'm the Minecraft police. But yeah, I don't know, like, if you guys know any artists, I'm probably just gonna end up going on Fiverr, but if you guys do have anybody to recommend that I, I could reach out to, that would be sweet. And then I can, like, ask them about getting, like, a, a cool banner and everything. Really spruce up the channel, make it look nice. Hopefully these crops still stay hydrated. I think they're still close enough to... Oh, well, if this guy gets in here, that'll be bad. Even try figuring that out. No, no, you can't. That's against. The <laughs> no, that's against the rules. You can't do that. No. How? Like what? He just did, like the baby zombie just did parkour to get in here. You're in parkour civilization. No one jumps for the beef. That's what just happened. That was like a parkour civilization event. I am we're living in a parkour simulation. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's not legal. You know what I do want to get? I want to get some more like bushes. Actually, I don't think I have any bushes. Like rose bushes. These are kind of cool. I could use these because I want to put them like around the fence. I think that would look cool. Ooh, can't hit this. Can't touch this. Oh, you suck. Yeah, you suck. No skill. Get out of here. Um, yeah, I'll take them on. Yeah, I want to take, like, a bunch of these and then put them around this area going around. I think that would look cool. Just to fill in the area with, like, something instead of dead space. Some farm max in here. Oh, yeah, and then I can go like that. Boom. There. Now it looks like it makes sense, I guess. Kind of. Um, how am I gonna stop the mobs? Yeah, that goes like that. Bring that around there. And then, boom. It goes full circle. That was actually useful. Alright, perfect. Now, this farm is fully enclosed off. Perfect. Oh, I've gotta worry about it now. Now, I think... But this would look better if I just covered it up. It's just this, like, giant hole here. I do want to do something with it eventually. I'm not, I'm not scratching that off the list. Ooh. Okay, th th that time I was behind a block, so I, I don't think that hit count. 
I think you're actually a dirty, rotten, wall-hacking cheater. Hacking skeleton. Oh, I just, like, wish I had more energy at the moment. I just don't know where it went. I'm just, like, tired. I can't even walk around here. There we go. We only have the 45. There's probably more around the island or in these chests. Hmm, not quite. Uh, oh wait, I had a bone. Can you bone meal them? Here's some. It'd be cool if you could... Oh, you can. That's helpful. So I can just get a bunch of these from one if I have the bone meal. My rice. About time we get some more of that. I wonder if fortune will affect rice, because once I get fortune, that would... That'd be nice for getting more of this. Because it, it is so slow, and it takes so long to grow. But it just happens to be, like, one of the best sort of, like, early game foods. I mean, this is going to make me 19 bowls right here. That's not bad. 19 bowls of rice. That is actually pretty good. I don't think I've been saving the bowls, though. Yeah, here, like, here's more. Gotta get, I gotta keep my bowl supply topped up. Never thought I'd say that in Minecraft. Things in their stupid little freaking, or I guess stupid huge hitbox. Like, why does it have a hitbox that big? It's got the hitbox of like an actual, like, two blocks stacked on top of each other. That's already all of them? Jeez. Now let's go around the island, get harvesting. You probably have enough to spread around the entire thing. The entirety of the fence. Bowl, don't mind if I do. One piece. Wait, one piece? <laughs> Was that one piece of coal a one piece reference? I actually never watched One Piece. I hardly know anything about it. All I know is that there's this one meme with this guy sticking his tongue out and that uh, there's a guy named Luffy and he's made of rubber. And that's all I know. Is that, is that actually like any anime fans here? Like, is, is that actually like something worth watching or is it just made? It's like, I'd, I'd watch, I'd watch an anime if it was good, but I, I heard it was, like, really long, too. And I like being able to, like, conclude the story. Like, I heard it's, like, really long and it's still going. But, I don't know, like, usually I wait for something to, like, finish or wrap up until I go to watch it, unless it's, like, really good. Then I'm, like, willing to wait. Like, that's kind of like what I'm doing with Digital Circus, just watching it as it comes out. And, like, I know it's kind of, like... Oh, like, he's basic. He said he likes Digital Circus. It is pretty good. Like, it's not, it's not great. But it's definitely good enough to where I'm like, Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll wait for them to make more episodes. It's, it's a cool concept. It's definitely not something that hasn't been done before. But it, it definitely is pretty cool. And I, like, that, that kind of show, like, sort of, like, scary sci-fi type thing is right up my alley. I mean, I'm somebody who enjoys the shows that are also like aren't even that good either like I'll, i watched the freaking i just watched three seasons of the cw flash and just binged it and the C cw shows are like notorious for just not being good and the flash isn't really that great i mean i like it it, it is a fun show especially for like the first three seasons and maybe the fourth one i just finished watching the first three and i'm kind of like debating on whether or not I'm gonna actually watch the fourth season, because there's like a, a dip in quality there. But like, I, I like the main villain. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna spoil it. It's like, I have watched like up to, I think up to like season five, and then I stopped watching and then just kind of got like the recaps after that, because it wasn't good. I remember sort of liking season four, but at the same time, like, I don't remember it being as good as like the first three seasons. So I don't know, I might rewatch it. I gotta light this place up. Dude, mob spawning everywhere. But yeah, I remember like the fourth season. So like usually in the flash, like the first three seasons, all the villains would be like another speedster. So like it made, it made sense, right? Cause like nobody, nobody can phase off against the flash. He's a flash. He'll just stop them in a second. I mean, they still, they still, somehow come up with a way where he can't catch the villain each episode even though they're like slow 
and they'll like go behind a corner and he's like oh i don't know where they went you have super speed just run around like the entire city in like two minutes and see where the villain is like i, I don't understand why he doesn't just do that so sometimes the logic of the show is like pretty off but i don't know all right like nearly out of flowers what is next? I could start clearing out an area for a windmill. I think a, I think building a windmill would be really cool. We also like need the resources to actually build it. So, what, what am I gonna build it out of? I have some pine. Um, I think what I do need to do first is definitely plant a bunch of trees. I think I need some stones, right? Like I need like cobblestone, maybe some stone bricks. We'll see. Stone bricks is kind of like a rich thing to think about right now. Because I don't even have silk touch yet. I don't have any access to enchantments. We gotta get like cows going and everything. I've been like so hyper focused on the farming. I kind of forgot like, ooh, I need to go mining and like, I need to like get some like cows and stuff. There's so much coal over here. I couldn't like find any in the mines. This will be enough to light everything up. And I think I am gonna splurge and make a bunch of lanterns, because they look so much better than having torches everywhere. Oh my gosh, I'm getting jumped. That kind of scared me. <laughs> Got like a freaking arrow in my neck. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> oh, I kind of forgot I still don't have clothes on. <laughs> Here, give me a second. Um... That skin customization. Yeah, I, I took all of my clothes off for some reason. There we go. I'm wearing clothes again. You're safe. I could do something. Oh, oh yeah, we could do um polished diorite for the um like the the blades of the windmill, or we could do cobblestone. I don't know. I I do I do like polished diorite though. And it you know being right here and me already mining it is <laughs> probably what I'm gonna use. All right, I am getting a little bit kind of tired and I'm going to go stretch my legs for a bit. So I will, <laughs> well, you'll see me in about two seconds, but I will see you guys either later tonight or tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm back. It's the next day. We're back on. We're back on game. One of my friends is on here, too, right now. I was not expecting that. There he is. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leap we're gonna leap back into it. We're gonna start back where we left off. I need I think I need more oak trees, because like we're out <laughs> this is like probably all my oak wood right here. So I found a little bit. What did you find my Uh oh we have a bit. This might be enough to make some more gates, but we do need to plant some more oak saplings. It's kinda of why I wish I had something before. Oh bro! I'm not- What? Where did these come from? I did not know- Okay, maybe I don't need fortune. I'm gonna find a cow, but I also found- Village? Are you kidding me? That's huge. Um... Can you... Mark it... On... Your map and send the way... Points in chat. Yeah, because if we can get villagers, that would be crazy. That's going to be, like, so much easier access to stuff that otherwise would just take forever. Alright, yeah, let's just, like, get a ton of oak trees planted all over the place. Because I think, I think that's, like, my main... My main building block at the moment is oak. So I don't, I don't want to use the ugly-looking pine for everything. Like, it, it works for some stuff, but I don't want to use it right now. I want, I want them delicious little oak trees planted everywhere. Um, bro, I don't even need to be a teacher. He, he got it. He just got it right there. Perfect. And that actually... Okay, so where is that compared to... Uh, it's, ooh, it's in a place we haven't even explored yet. And it's not that far away, to be honest. It's only like a thousand or so blocks. Yeah, that's not bad. We can, we can go do village stuff at some point. Maybe in this episode. Maybe in the next episode. Maybe in like two seconds from now, after I'm done planting all these trees. I mean, could stay here to wait for them to grow. I, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what the village has to offer. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, 
kind of just mark the map. Only pigs there. I will kill everything. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not gonna kill anything. I just want to mess around with them. All right, let's get let's get geared up. Um. All right. Could use a backpack. We have. I think we have the sophisticated backpack mod. Oh. So these only stack up to 16, but that's still that's a lot of rice. I forgot I had these. <laughs> I put them in last night. Alright, so we got our wood. Got a crafting table. We have our diving gear. Um, where are my pants? Honey, where are my pants? They're right here. Found your pants. End of series. <laughs> They're in my inventory the whole time. Okay, yeah, I didn't... I guess I forgot these only stack up to 16. That's still pretty good, though, I guess. Um, and then we'll take a bit of extra iron. And I think that should be good because like, here's, here's the problem. I always fill up my inventory too much. But also, actually, that's not even that can't even be that much of a problem because the boat holds a bunch of extra stuff. So I don't even have to worry about inventory. I can just put everything in the boat. So let's make ourselves a bow and an extra shield just in case. Perfect. I think this should be everything I need. I don't even have to worry about the inventory space because I can just throw everything on the boat. Right on the boat. Shh, throw it on the boat. I guess bring the fishing rod too. <laughs> oh, I'm just cluttering. I, I have to leave before I clutter my inventory anymore. All right. Time to set sail to the village. All these crops are growing so nice too. We don't even got to worry about food anymore. That's so nice. Um, it's not really like... See, this knife I thought was like an attacking thing at first. It's actually not. It's more for harvesting stuff. Okay, uh, that's an intro. That's a very big. How do you die there? H how do you actually die on a staircase? Did his, <laughs> did his heart get out from all the exercise? His heart gave out. Oh yeah, this is this is his base that he's making right here. Let's check this out. Oh, he's got like a little port going and everything. That's nice. Oh, and I think I ran over another fish. I found a uh, fish. Yeah, you can have some fish. This looks pretty cool. Oh, he's been going to town. He's got the AFK fish farm. He's got a mine entrance. This place is nice. He's been going to town. And he's got a... Oh, these are like his own llamas. Oh, that's sick. That is... That is nice. So, I'm assuming he's planting rice in the the little holes that that's like a good that's a good use for it if you're gonna have the little watering holes for your farm you might as well put rice in them right we could sleep first but i don't know travel by night be there by morning <laughs> that's probably the best uh decision instead of getting there at night time i don't know why my shaders do that you see that like blob it's so annoying sometimes you get dark oak i'm making a galley nice Totally misspelled all of that. All right, so the village is this way, around 1,300 blocks. That's gonna be quite a journey. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum. What is that down there? What is this? Command blocks? Excuse me? Is this... Is this what's... That's weird. Why are these here? This might be... No, I don't know what that would be for. No, because that's not for the data pack. Because you can't affect world generation with command... Why are there command blocks in my world? That is so weird. I, I actually don't know why those are there. Genuinely, I don't know why. Is there a mod that adds that? It could be, like, I, I was thinking it could be the data pack, but I didn't think the data pack, like, it only affects world generation. That is so odd. Maybe it's like a part of this mod. There's just command blocks. I don't know what that does. I really don't know what that does. And I didn't put it there. 
Oh, I'm gonna kill him with the boat. <laughs> All right, skids back in. We might we go sailing. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, there's like a lot of pillagers here. Oh, look, more basking sharks right under us. That's gonna be one of the cool parts of the series when we really start getting into the water and looking at all the um, mobs that they have, all the fish. All the fishes. All right, here we are. This is the village. This is so cool, it's like a little tiny island. Alright. Let's lock the ones we don't take inside houses. Just so like they say safe, because I don't want to... Anything useful in here? Oh, it's just junk he's putting... Oh, I will take that oak sapling. But we stick the oak saplings just in case. Um, any other stuff here? It's not too useful. Oh, here's a waypoint! So, these are one of my favorite parts. I was actually afraid that they wouldn't generate, because I added this after we made the world. It's like your destination. So this is Race Halimera. That's a really stupid name. Um, yeah, we have to get another waypoint in order to go back and forth. If we get another waypoint, we don't even have to take villagers we can set up here we should go explore and find another one because you can break these and place them wherever you want so if we get another waypoint we don't even we can just leave the villagers here protect the area and then come back uh what <laughs> He tried- <laughs> He had a skeleton skull! <laughs> I was tempted not to kill him for a second, but I want- I want my skeleton skull. That's so cool. Okay, they're all sleeping. I hope that they're alive still, because I haven't seen a single one. Alright, yeah, he- he boarded some of them up. I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to take your bed for just a second. Don't go outside. You can just- you can just cuddle up with me. Sleep with me. That sounds weird. Never mind. Um... All right, yeah, we can... Is that another crab? I'll leave you. Let's light this place up. Yeah, I think that I think that is a, the first order of business. First order of baldness is light the village up. But yeah, this will be so nice if we can get another waypoint. All right, we need to, I think, start fencing off the island. So the last thing I do want is a bunch of villagers just going into the freaking water, swimming away, and then, I don't know, dying. Ooh, that's an interesting looking crab. I haven't seen that one yet. The lower crab claw. Huh. Oh, this guy's got a nautilus shell. A nautilus shell? Sounded like British there for a second. All right, so it seems like we have about five or six villagers in this village, so that's pretty good. Not worried about that. Oh, like seven. Okay. Perfect. Pick one of these. Put it in here. Alright. I think our light levels are looking pretty good. Nothing's hitting zero. I'm gonna take a little look around for a minute. It looks to be so. Alright, so let's start <laughs> let's start segregating the villagers. I know that, that sounds very wrong, but it, it, it is it is a game. It's a game. The villagers are getting segregated in Minecraft. <laughs> How do you feel that you're gonna live here forever now, mate? Why doesn't feel that good, does it? 
You're gonna be my villager forever. I'm right, just gonna make sure they have enough beds. It looks like they do. I think there's three over here. So now they're all closed off, I believe, into parts of the island that actually have... Villagers. <laughs> that actually have, um, walls. Yeah. The villagers are all closed off in parts of the island that are blocked off. Pretty good. Just need another... Waystone. I'm gonna look around for one. Alright, and so it begins. The search for a waystone. Alright, so we're right here. I think we might as well just keep going forward, right? Keep moving forward in a direction. Maybe this way? Because there is an island here, so might as well. Yeah, why not? So the best way to find one of these waystones is to find a village that has one. Usually the villages are the places that have waystones. I don't think many other structures do have waystones. Ooh, birch trees. I haven't seen birch yet. Let's go get ourselves a sapling. Oh yeah, we have the fast leaf again. That's helpful. I, I got one. Oh, so they're... It's a yellow maple sapling. That's weird. So is that guaranteed to actually make it a birch tree when I grow it? It looks like that's what all of these are, so I don't know, maybe. I kind of forgot about the whole fast leaf decay. That is so helpful. I don't have to sit here and like chop the freaking wood or chop the freaking leaves for another extra five minutes to get a sapling. They just rain down into my inventory. Hello, my pretty. Boop. Take them all. Perfect. Oh, nothing too, too interesting here. Ooh, holy crap, this one's huge. I can't even like look up to see it. What? All right, let's go, let's go around this and actually load this thing in. I literally can't even load it all in, it's so big. Bro. There's a village here, I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh, there's a waystone. You see that right there? How is that there? Oh my gosh. We actually found the thing that we're looking for. After all this time, it's here. I didn't think we were gonna find it. I thought we were gonna have to like end this video on a loss later, but no. Wait, where'd it go? Uh, uh, um, are they not silk touch? Do they have to be silk touched? Oh, no, 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 that, that can't be the case, right? I've picked them up before. Oh, no, I think they are. Oh, I just wasted it. Oh, I should have freaking looked it up. Are you joking? It didn't like fall into the water or any- Oh, there it is. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, this has been a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> found the waystone, lost the waystone, found it again. <laughs> What's next? Am I, am I gonna get attacked by like actual pirates this time? Oh, this island. This one's neat. Goes up really high too. <laughs> We're gonna come back here later. What's this weird plant? Look at that, that's weird. Alright, so we did... We did recover a waystone. After all this time looking, now I can peacefully head home knowing that I've accomplished the thing I wanted to accomplish. Alright, so... Circle around the island this way. Oh my gosh! It's a whole redwood forest! Okay, I'm actually gonna ping that. That looks 
big. Redwoods. Make it a global waypoint. I know it's gonna get cluttered having all these like global waypoints on my map, but giant redwood forest island. Oh, that is so cool. I didn't think we were gonna find islands like this. I thought they would just be like, you know, like basic, like kind of like vanilla, like tiny islands. I didn't think we could find one. This, this is huge. Oh my goodness. This is one of the biggest islands. It's probably not a great idea to make all of these global waypoints. But I'm sure there's a way I can disable them so I don't have to see them constantly. Jeez, I will be coming back to these islands to get their, get their natural resources. Oh, this is great. The episode's turning back around now. Turning back around to a good place. I just gotta get home and set this waypoint up. See if I can actually get that to work, because waypoints on servers can be a little tricky. Instantaneously warping 2,000 blocks away is not really the most, um, <laughs> not the most server-friendly thing. So we'll see how well it works. And if it doesn't work too well, I can always just allocate more RAM to the server. Finally, we are home. Look at how much of the map we filled up today. Like, all of this area over here was not filled out before. We found some massive, like, these islands are nearly as big as big as these ones. This one will always be the biggest one, probably. This one's nice and flat. It's a little skinnier, but it's nice and flat. So that's what I like about this one. It's a nice and flat little island. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment I've been waiting for for the past, <laughs> past, uh, what? What's our recording at? Our 12 minutes? The past, like, 45 minutes I've been waiting to get one of these. I think, put it right here. And we're gonna call this what are we gonna call this place? It's gotta be like a farming name, right? We gotta we gotta come up with something good. What's something good that I can come up with? Um, mm, uh, Hometopia. <laughs> it's the worst name ever. Welcome to Hometopia. <laughs> All right, so now you can click this instantly. We are transported to the village. Right away. Perfect. Now, so the one thing I have learned is that you can crash the server pretty easily with these if you use them in too quick of a succession while you're loading all the chunks. So it's best to like stay in that area for a minute while you're there. What is that? Oh, that's just another basking shark. Yeah, these guys will literally let you just punch them. It's crazy. Like, why, why make a shark if it's gonna be harmless? I want some, like, Jaws Predator that just, like, eats me alive and drags me to the depths of the ocean. Um, alright, now we can go back. Instantly warped to where we need to be. That is so helpful. That saves so much time. That's so weird. So you can put 31 bulls there, but it only stacks to 16 over there. Or do, bu do bulls already... Okay, bulls can stack like that, but when they have food in them... I guess it only stacks to 16, or I guess the rice only makes it stack to 16. That's an odd gameplay mechanic. Alright, so we did we did quite a bit this episode. I'm I'm proud of what we did. We fenced off some areas, we got villagers set up. I haven't really done any trading yet. We will do that next episode though. And we got ourselves a waystone too, so we can just instantly go to the village whenever we want. So thank you guys so much for watching. It was a fun video to make, and a long one too. I'm gonna have like Two and a half hours of footage, so that is going to be quite the doozy to record. And I'm actually recording with an old friend today, um, by the name of Athlinex, or some people might know him as Rifle Panda 99. It has been a hot minute. He just figured out that I was back at YouTube, and I'm like, I, bro, why didn't I reach out to this kid sooner? So I reached out to him, and we're gonna we're gonna do a Fortnite prop hunt video tonight, I believe. So that's that's gonna be pretty fun. Um, that's all I got for you guys, though. Thank you for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe and all that. All that YouTube jargon, and I will see you guys later. Bye.